Miami Marlins adding three new players to their roster, and for these guys, it's a welcome back to their home state. CBS4 Sports anchor Mike Cuno joins us now with more. Mike. That's right, Rick. It was a homecoming indeed. Now, the Marlins saw a 15-win improvement between 2013 and 2014, but still fell short of the postseason. After signing Giancarlo Stanton to a monster $325 million deal, the Fish stayed true to their word, adding more pieces through trades and free agency. This is home, and uh, you know you don't you don't protect uh, you definitely you protect your house. Not only did the Marlins make another off-season splash, but the additions of Matt Latos, Michael Morse, and D. Gordon meant bringing three Florida players back to their home state. I'm a die-hard Marlins fan. You know, I'm, I'm born and raised here, and uh, you know to be be able to play with the team that I've grown up to see is going to be uh, you know. A dream come true. To play in my hometown and you know and and you know get get a nice little tan in the process too. I, I can't complain about that. Did this really happen? It's like yeah, but then it took the Marlins like five hours to call me, so I was like panicking. I was like, uh, I don't know if it's going through. Miami adds speed with Gordon, a big bat in Morse, and another starting pitcher in Latos. Three key pieces to their lineup that may be the key to putting the fish back in the postseason. They're they're committed to to, to winning now and. Um, you know, this organization, it's, it's, it's on the rise once again. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun to get into a lot of dog fights with a lot of guys in the, in the National League. And, and uh, you know, we got a lot of young talent, so it's going, to be, uh, it's going to be crazy. Marlins fans have seen these kinds of moves in the past, but general manager Mike Hill thinks this time around will be different. We wanted to, to build a team that was slump proof, something that showed up every day. In previous years, you, you may have seen it where it might try to be a splash factor or something like this. Our goal is sustainable winning. Now the Marlins have continued to make more roster moves. Today they made a big deal with the Yankees. We'll have the details of that trade coming up at 6. In studio, Mike Cuno for CBS4 Sports. All right, Mike, good stuff. And still to come on.